I thought that going out with Tom was the best thing that ever happened to me, but that's when Emma started. Hi, Fosters. Don't call me that. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? She's Sophie. She's Sophie who? She's so frigid. <laughs> I knew she was only jealous. I didn't care because I had Tom. I was crazy about him. He was really funny and fit and kind. Well, at least I thought he was kind. And he wanted to see me all the time, but my foster mum, she is really strict. And she makes me stay in on Fridays and do my homework. So, I sent it. I know it was stupid, but I did love him. And he promised he'd delete it and that he'd never show it to anyone. It was the Monday after Tom's birthday. His stupid mate Callum had thrown him a party, but it was on a Friday, so I couldn't go. Hey, Fosters, where were you on Friday? Get lost, Emma. It was a great party. You should have been there. Tom's a really good kisser, isn't he? I thought he was going to take my tonsils out. <laughs> you are. <laughs> and Callum said you've got nice tits too. Can we send a picture of your bum next time? <laughs> Believe it. Tom had shown that photo to that idiot Callum. I felt like really dirty. So I dumped him. But the next day, that picture, it was all over the school. Tom said he didn't send it, but everywhere I went, there were people looking at me, laughing, whispering, calling me names. So, I started to bunk off. I thought maybe people would forget about it if I just, you know, stayed away. But whoever did it, they didn't stop. It's her own fault. Sophie's so pathetic. I can't believe I ever liked her. I mean, it was my birthday. She told me to go to the party and enjoy myself.
Where's your girlfriend? She had to stay in and do her homework. Oh, that's so sad. Doesn't she know it's your birthday? She can't help it. Her foster mum's really strict. Not as strict as my dad. He's going to totally kill me when I get home. So, what did you come here for? Because I wanted to see you. And give you a birthday kiss. I bet so frigid can't kiss like that. Got it! When Sophie found out about it, she just finished with me. She wouldn't even talk to me. She dumped you. She found out that I've been snogging Emma. And someone told her that I showed you a picture of her tits. Don't blame me. Besides, if she didn't want anyone to see her tits, she shouldn't have sent the picture. So, what are you going to do now? What can I do? She won't even talk to me. What are you on about? She dumped you. She's made you look like a pussy, a complete loser. And Jade says she's been going around the whole school dissing you. She's been a cheeky little cow. Are you going to let her get away with it? No. What am I supposed to do? Get revenge. So you got that picture of her on your phone? Give you. What are you doing? Who's the loser now? <laughs> she shouldn't have dumped me. I mean, what did she expect? And if she didn't want anyone to see the picture, she shouldn't have sent it. And it wasn't me who spread it around the school. It's not my fault that I actually have some friends. We used to feel sorry for Sophie, because she was in K and stuff, and she was just a sad little loser. Yeah, we called her Fosters and stuff, because she was in foster care, but that was just chat. Banter, my dad calls it. Jade's called Tango, because of the fake tan. Look at her, she's so orange. Shut up, man. I mean, my dad calls my little sister Honey Monster, because she used to be really fat. But it's just a joke, it don't mean nothing. So, when we called her Fosters and stuff, we were having a laugh. We were trying to include her, but then she started going out with Tom, and suddenly she was walking around the school with this attitude, look at me, I'm something, and she started chatting back at us, and that's when I thought, this girl needs teaching a lesson. And I'm not being arrogant or nothing, but Tom's always fancied me, so when she dumped him. So what do you want to show me? What do you want to see? You know what I want to see. Get off, dirty boy. You want to see what Sophie's put on her profile? I thought she was an allowed one. She isn't. <laughs> Wait till her foster mum finds out. And look, there's a picture of stupid Sophie with chocolate all over her face. Did Sophie put that up? What do you think? <laughs> I did it, idiot. I made the whole profile. But it's a bit boring. It needs pimping up a bit. Like a picture of boring little Sophie getting her tits out. Do you still have that photo by any chance? Don't matter, I've got it. What did you ever see in her, Tom? I mean, are those tits or two little pimples? Come on, Tommy. Tits or zits? You decide. Can we just shut up about Sophie? What's up? Do you still like her? Of course I don't. Because that little loser is going around the school dissing you and me to her stupid little friends. I'm sorry, Tommy, but she's a nasty two-faced little cow. And I think she needs to be taught a lesson. Don't you? Yeah, I, I suppose. Tom's not just my boyfriend. He's a mate. And I'm not standing by doing nothing while a little cow like her treats my mate like crap. I mean, you've got to stick up for your friends, haven't you? I liked Sophie. When I was getting picked on, I could talk to her, and she was like a real friend. And then they broke up. I thought they'd get back together.
Pace off. Oh. Get on my room, you little creep. Why? What are you doing? We're looking at Sophie's profile. Sophie doesn't have a profile. She does now. I'm not stupid. You're not looking at it. You're putting stuff on it. Get out, Megan. It's okay, Tommy. Do you want to put something? No, and if you don't stop it, I'll tell Mam. Oh, you a little grass. No, you just better stop it, okay, Tom? She likes Sophie, the besties. After what she did to your brother? Like what? Like dumping him? Sophie is a nasty two-faced cow, and if you don't believe me, ask anybody at school, because nobody likes her. Well, I don't like you. Just shut up and get out, Megan. You'll be sorry. Your brother's just getting his own back, and it's not as if we're beating her up or anything. We're just putting some funny pictures up, having a laugh, a joke. So what's the big deal? I thought it was all Emma, but then I saw all the stuff about Sophie's mum, and that she's, like, mentally ill, and that's why she got put in care. And I knew it was Tom, because Sophie didn't tell anybody else. And there were loads of comments, and they were just so horrible. What's the matter, Megan? Nothing. What are you watching? A video. If something was the matter, you'd tell me, right? Of course. Okay. What's Sophie pressuring me for? What am I supposed to do? She should tell somebody if it's a problem. Anyway, it's her own fault for sending that stupid picture. And if you're getting picked on, you should just stick up for yourself, shouldn't you?